A TPSS stands for a traction power substation. Anyone who drives 225 now or, or I-25, you pass by several of these and most people don't notice them. This one was installed as part of our West Rail Line project. And this is the one that provides the main power source to actually make the trains move. The traction power substation way over there takes utility power then feeds it over to up the poles and then there's lines that connect to the overhead catenary system. That's the power distribution uh, to the train and that comes from the traction power substation. And the train has what's called a panograph. The panograph touches those wires and that's how the train gets its energy. The bottom one is the contact wire. The wire above it helps support the contact wire and also carries additional current so that we can get enough uh, amperage to the train. This first little house is called a relay house. There are almost 40 of these on the 225 line. This is all how to control how the train moves throughout the whole thing. It also controls how the crossing arms function. So next to it is a climate-controlled communications house. So there's IT switches. There's also the equipment that then controls the announcements for stations, as well as the visual message board. Here is the slab for substation 33. We're making some very big progress. It's you know something that will actually we need to make the trains run. It gets the power to it. I mean, track's a great thing, but we need something to be able to actually make the train go. Here in this location, you're coming up to the iLift station. You can see it off in the distance. They'll be right out your window. Uh, we typically keep them close to the alignment, just is better for our operations, better for overall power distribution. The first set of tracks will be right on the other side of this wall. And then you can see those foundations with the anchor bolts and the temporary plastic um, protection over it. And those are what supports our overhead catenary system. And then the other set of tracks will be on the other side. So we will be building and installing 11 new traction power substations. We will be also tying into an existing traction power substation down at Nine Mile. Uh, it's really what gives the power to go. It also is what keeps it safe for everybody around. It has a lot of safety mechanisms built into it that if something happens with the power distribution lines, it'll cut the power to it and make it a safe uh, environment. This substation as well as our relay houses and our comm houses all become part of an integral system where we can see how it all works together and how all that's communicated and operated.